Hi everyone, my name is Catherine and I'm from Cobb County Public Library and this week we're celebrating National Library Week and guess what today is? It's National Outreach Day, which means we are also celebrating those who at the library who go out of the libraries and you know tell everybody about the library and one of the things that we have here at the library is our bookmobile that's right it's a van that has books inside and goes out to the community so in order to celebrate we're going to read ready to fly how Sylvia Townsend became the bookmobile ballerina a story told by Leah Lyon and Ayla Fay, forwarded by Sylvia Townsend illustrated by Jessica Gibson a beautiful ballerina. Born with a beat in my feet, I jive to daddy's jazz and sway to mama's symphonies as musical notes start to float. I rise to my toes and ready to fly. When our second hand TV fills with beautiful dancers, all feathered and fine, I say, I want to do that. Sylvia, Mama says, they're dancing the ballet Swan Lake. Ballet? Oh, I need to learn ballet, Sylvia says. Can I take lessons? I want to leap and twirl and do plies till I can dance in real ballets. But Daddy says, sorry baby, lessons don't come free. So I twist Mama's scarves into a tutu and make my own ballet slippers. Dressed and ready, I try and I try, but my feet won't budge. Look what a beautiful tutu that is. Made by scarves. Wow, so creative. That spring, a bookmobile rules into our neighborhood. Do you have any ballet books? I asked the smiling librarian. Why don't we look together? We search the shelves for the perfect book to give me wings. At home, I began reading, building my own bear, bar, learning the positions first, second, and third. Each month, a new book adds to my routine. Jete Pire and Arabesque. One day, I'll be a flying ballerina too. News of the bookmobile ballerina draws neighborhood kids singing, teach us how to lip and troll and do plies till we can dance in real ballets. Out on the stoop, I show them my swan-like strides and my rising releves. I'm the one giving the lessons now. Wow, that is amazing. Now she's the teacher. My fourth grade teacher, Miss Vital, sees me trolling steps. Any girl who can dance like you needs real lessons to reach for the sky. She says and offers to pay my way. Mama's Miss Vital and I set off to see some ballet schools. But the first says not too full. School two says no room. School three whispers, it just can't be. Letting the real reason slip. Ballet is for white girls. Mm. Is ballet not for girls like me? Those words pluck the feathers from my wings. My dancing feet don't feel the beat. My tutu goes back to being mama's scarves. I tuck away my slippers and tell the library I want new books. Do you think she's sad now? I think she's really sad. But my little swans troll up for the next lesson. They still want to fly. Who else will show them if I don't? Lesson by lesson, we grow more feathers until 
twist the shade onto this school talent show stage in the fall. The best part comes as an encore. Backstage, another dancer says, My daddy thinks you should meet Madame Sawika. She came all the way from Russia and teaches dance too. Like the ballerina from TV? Could this really be? I jump at the chance to finally get my wings. When the day of the audition arrives, I soar through the studio door. Seeing all the mirrors, I freeze. But the music starts to float, and so do I. Rising to my toes, I fly across the floor. Daddy's jazz became a beat in my feet. Mama's symphonies help me soar. As the last notes fade away, I float to my into reverence. I hold my breath, waiting to hear what my Madame Sawika will say. Smiling, she says, you've never had the lesson there? I bow my head, I'm whispering, no. Well, you're a beautiful dancer. Madame Sawika takes me under her wing, offering me a free place in her school. How exciting is that? All that hard work did pay, pay off. Every book, every beat, every practice at the start has brought me to this day. All feathered and fine, I am a ballerina who can leap, troll, and do plies, and do and loves to dance in real ballets. Wow. Now she dances in real ballets. A ballerina whose little swans are ready to fly. This is her now. That's her teaching her class of students as an adult. Wow. Such an amazing story of a girl with a big dream who didn't stop because somebody said no. Well, I hope you love this book. And of course, there's so many more other books at the library and programs too, so you can celebrate Outreach Day or National Library Week with us. We hope to see you at the library. Bye.